to play that fucking saxophone! <laughs> What is going on my fellow rock stars? Thank you so much for jumping into this video today. My name is Danny Coldblood, aka my music idiot, and I am very happy to admit that today is a good day, my friends, as we finally have made some progress within trying to crack the code over at the hamburger sign located in Polito Bay. So this is how it all started. The other day I broadcasted this video called Proof that Rockstar uses outside references. If you guys didn't get a chance to join up for this broadcast, I will put a link in the description so you can check it out after the video. During that broadcast, we came across some different art that Rockstar has on their website. We came across Manhunt 2, and I was focusing a little bit on the eye. I thought it was suspicious how there's a maze inside of it, but for what it was, we didn't really have anything else to go on, so we just went to the next piece of art and carried on throughout the stream. So a couple days after that, I uploaded a video that took me a little while to make. There's a lot of research that went into making this, and it's well worth watching. So if you guys did not check it out, you're looking at the thumbnail on the screen, go ahead and click on the link in the description after this video and check it out because it will definitely at least teach you something. There's so much information I did not know about, including people that have committed suicide at Rockstar, and even Sam and Dan Hauser, they put their parents in these video games. Now don't get mad at me guys, I'm going to admit something to you. I left out a couple pieces of information in the video when I uploaded it. Remember when I showed you guys the manhunt picture and I talked about how there wasn't really too much to go on at that time in the broadcast? Well, when I was doing research for the Sam and Dan Hauser video, I found a couple of things that matched up with something pretty big, which is ultimately the reason for this video. So let's go ahead and reveal to you guys another title that Sam and Dan Hauser's father was a part of within Rockstar Games. I found out that Walter Hauser, Dan and Sam Hauser's father, played the saxophone in Grand Theft Auto IV's Ballad of Gay Tony. Learn to play that fucking saxophone! Fucking saxophone! Fucking saxophone! <laughs> Not only did Walter Hauser play the saxophone in The Ballad of Gay Tony, but suspiciously enough, he was the voice for Project Doctor in Manhunt 2. After finding out about Walter Hauser being a voice actor in Manhunt 2, I just wanted to take a little bit of a closer look at the game, and I found something pretty interesting, guys. You notice how it says Manhunt 2, and below it is a patient ID? Well, there's something very suspicious involving this patient ID. When looking closely, you'll notice that Rockstar slipped in a letter. They added the letter G inside of this patient ID. Now, I looked into it, and I didn't find any patients in Manhunt 2 to have that ID assigned to them. I actually couldn't find any meaning to this patient ID anywhere at all. So it appears to be just random and just whatever. But if it was random and it didn't mean anything, then why would Rockstar make sure to make a small change like that? If you think about it, it doesn't make any sense at all for a company to have a finished image and decide at some other point to say, hey, Let's go back and alter it. Let's just throw a, some letters of the alphabet at it. Maybe a G, maybe... No, no, you don't do things like that. It doesn't make sense unless it does mean something and unless it's important. To try and figure this out, I looked at the rest of the patient's ID and I started to look and see if maybe anything connected to anything maybe I've looked at within GTA 5 or through any of my other research. And lo and behold, guys, something popped out at me. Not too long ago, you guys might remember me posting a video about the very odd and suspicious non-player character that always appears with the same shirt on. And if you guys take a look at the Manhunt 2 patient ID, I color-coded it for you. 
you can see that the 1978 on the coordinate shirts lines up with the Manhunt 2 patient ID. The other day, I did a live broadcast where I punched in the coordinates found on the shirts and we went there in real time to the location that the coordinates lead to. And it was very suspicious and a lot of interesting things were discussed and discovered. Now, I want to go ahead and let you guys know that it's kind of a coincidence that we have a direct link between the numbers on the Manhunt 2 ID and the coordinate shirt itself. So of course I'm going to go ahead and check out some of the infamous locations in the game that we still cannot figure out or decipher, including the hamburger sign. But before we go ahead and check out the hamburger sign, let's go to where this mystery started in Grand Theft Auto V. The one thing that tells us we do have an egg to crack. And that is the Mount Chiliad Mystery Mural. I see a big connection between the mural and the hamburger sign. Let me show you that and then we'll get to Manhunt afterwards. So just looking at the very top of the mural and the very top of the hamburger sign, you guys can see how they're very, very similar. See the eye? That also comes to my mind as well. But if you count the little rays that are coming off, there is exactly seven on each image. I think that's very important to note because the more we take notice of how much similarities are between the hamburger sign and the mural on Mount Chiliad, the more we realize that they're more similar to each other than they aren't. Another thing I want to point out is if you look at both of the images, you see there's a line going straight down from both of them. Well, we know the Mount Chiliad mural, it goes straight down to the cracked egg in the box. It looks like the famous hamburger sign is doing the same thing. It's going straight down to an Easter egg that we know we can crack if we could just figure out how to solve it. Well, after four years, we finally may have the opportunity to start being able to try to decode the Easter egg at the famous hamburger sign and possibly even solve the Chilean mystery since the hamburger sign and the mural are so similar to each other. Since the mural on Mount Chiliad and the famous hamburger sign are so similar to each other in so many ways, could solving the one ultimately mean you solve the other? Either way, I think we're in a good position, guys. We now are going to be able to at least start working on decoding the famous hamburger sign. I will tell you why I feel that way. If you notice, I put the manhunt, patient ID, and the eye. See the eye? I put that all next to each other with the famous hamburger sign and the mural. And you're probably wondering, well, how does this manhunt tie into all of this? Where does it fit? Take a look at this. As the hamburger sign becomes a little bit more clear and in focus, we see that it has a lot of stuff on there, but we really don't know what it means. How do we even begin to decode it? Well, I think the reason why Rockstar went back to their image with Manhunt 2 and suspiciously added a letter from the alphabet, they threw the letter G in there for some reason. I think that they were trying to make something not so obvious. Let me explain. If you look at the hamburger sign, it says J-D-O at the very top. Well, look at this, guys. We have yet another coincidence and connection with Manhunt 2's cover with the patient ID. There is so many strong connections here, it's very hard not to say, man, we might be on the brink of being able to solve something, maybe even everything, if we keep on following the right path. It really is amazing how I went and researched all this information about the real life people associated with Rockstar. You know, the people that made Sam and Dan who they are. Obviously, their parents. And found out that they were intergrained within the games themselves. And then how they're connected to the mystery directly. It's 
almost shocking that this hasn't been found before. I'd like to thank you guys all for joining up and checking out the video today. Like I said, if you missed any of the videos I was mentioning at the beginning of this episode, go ahead and check the description. I got the links. You don't want to miss the stuff that I've been coming out with, and you really don't want to miss any of my upcoming content, especially the mystery content, because the stuff that I've been coming out with lately, guys, is really going to help. I really think that if we band together, if we unite as a unit, it's bound to happen, guys. We're going to solve this Chilean mystery. Thank you for your support. I do appreciate it. Please do check out the videos in the descriptions and definitely let me know what you guys think in the comments. I do appreciate it. If you're thinking about subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you guys are notified every single time I make a video. So again, thank you guys very much and I'll see you in the next video. Or broadcast. Take it easy, Tata, -ta, and as always, peace.